Filmsock came into being in 1947 with the intention of showing films, and three years later, when it obtained a camera, the idea of a newsreel was born. One of its first outings was to the University of London Sailing Club, but sound recording was still in its early stages when this disc was made. This summer the winds have been very light on the whole at the harp, and our boats have been at a disadvantage against the lighter fireflies owned by some of the other colleges. UC's best boat, the Coot, is back at college this term for refitting. Many a pleasant and relaxing afternoon may be spent on, or sometimes in, the water. But even in those days, rag material was the most popular, and Rag Day, November the 5th, was an event which called for careful preparation. Floats toured the West End before returning to college for the climax of the evening's festivities, a giant bonfire in the front quad. There was, however, another side to newsreels, the preservation for future years of memorable college functions. One such event was the farewell luncheon for Sir Cyril Burt, who had been head of the Department of Psychology for 19 years. After gathering news by land and sea, in 1952 our camera took to the air for the first time with the University Air Squadron and got a bird's eye view of some fine aerobatics. Newsreel number eight and colour makes its first appearance. This was on the occasion of the London Students' Gala Night in the Battersea Pleasure Gardens, which followed a procession of floats representing the colleges. The educational value of newsreels was well brought out in an illustration of the technique of hydrogen welding. Here the process was explained by the use of animated diagrams. After Phineas had acknowledged the cheers of his supporters in Gower Street, the arrival of the Queen and Duke of Edinburgh shortly after the coronation was regarded by some as an anticlimax. Nineteen fifty three, and for the first time, the police intervened to ban the Guy Fawkes rag. But from force of habit, thousands of students arrived by bus, tube and train for their annual contest with the law. A contest which developed into the rag to end all rags.
complete contrast, the newsreel crew set foot inside the hallowed portals of the newly opened Campbell Hall to bring back an impression of life and some of its more sordid secrets. film of one of the earlier versions of Engineers Lacrosse shows that the game has always attracted large crowds and rules and dress have undergone little change. The animated technique was used again in Newsreel 12 to explain the flying spot microscope. The light which passes through is picked up by a photomultiplier cell. The screen is here showing a diatom magnified 800 times. A club which has since gone out of existence was the gym club whose members spent a great deal of time in individual training. When House Committee decided to let Phineas live in the old lounge, they invited Frankie Howard to perform at the unveiling ceremony, which he did with a solemnity befitting the occasion. A more formal visit was that of the Queen Mother, who, in the company of the Provost and other dignitaries, was conducted on a tour of the college, and was later introduced to Phineas, who had been retrieved from King's only a few hours earlier. At the night of the Queen Mother's visit, fire broke out in Foster Court. It was not discovered until serious damage had been done, both to the building and to the irreplaceable books and manuscripts it contained. An old friend of Charlie's, James Robertson Justice, was among the many stars in the film Doctor at Large part of which was shot in the front quad while film sock watched enviously. Sound and picture were synchronized accurately for the first time in an extract from Kenneth Pryor's address to a lift queue mission meeting. Now the supreme question that we have before us today is whether Jesus Christ really was the Son of God. And this, of course, is one of the most vital questions we can ask concerning him, especially when you consider the tremendous claims that he made. Also among our distinguished visitors at this time was Reggie, who, wearing a new coat of feathers, was persuaded to inspect the roof of the old Union shop Shortly afterwards, a deputation from Kings arrived to collect their lost property.
This is the first time during all the years that I have been provost of this college that I have been invited to an annual general meeting. This was an 11th hour attempt by the provost to avert a boycott of the refectory. There is no reason why any of you should make use of the services of the refectory. No, 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 no. You have every right to go elsewhere. Further, there's no reason that any of you should come here at all unless you wish to. You can go elsewhere. Go to Birmingham. There are plans you can get on the Senate if you're very clever. Go elsewhere if you want to. There are most departments of this college that have a waiting list. Knowing what our quality of our departments are, of eight people for every one that we accept. If you're not satisfied with us, go elsewhere. We can stand it. Attractive photography and a lively afternoon sport were combined in the newsreel report of the golf match between UC and Kings. Golf Club maintained that this coverage has increased their membership considerably. When the new Union premises were opened, Yvonne Mitchell, John Gregson and George Kalouris were welcomed by President of the Union, Jeremy Hornsby. In a news flash, pictures of the demonstrators and the people who had addressed them on the situation in Nyasaland only 26 hours previously were brought to the screen. And in fact, the soundtrack to this picture was being recorded as the audience was filling the chemistry theatre. One of the most spectacular events of recent years was a well-planned and constructive attempt to solve London's traffic problem. Half the college turned out to emphasise the need for a zebra crossing to Yulu. Now, although we cannot yet look back on the events of 21 years, we can review 21 newsreels and the technical progress achieved in their production. Making newsreels is nowadays a relatively organised activity. When an interesting society meeting or union function is to be filmed, the camera crew, together with a sound engineer if an interview or effects are required, go out on location to get the pictures. After the film is received back from processing, the editor checks the picture and sets about arranging the various shots in sequence, noting the points where commentary and effects will be required. Titling is a long, painstaking job and has to be started as soon as the sections of the newsreel have been decided upon. A 
At this stage, enough is known about the film for the commentaries to be written and recorded on tape. The music and effects are also recorded independently, and the various parts match to the picture with split-second synchronization. After many hours of hectic work, yet another newsreel reaches its climax.